Good afternoon, everybody. This is Travis with Ammo Land TV. And today we are looking at the CMMG 46. This is the first AR-15 and the first civilian firearm to chamber the 4.6 by 30 millimeter cartridge. This cartridge originally came to be for the HK MP7 and is a PDW style cartridge that sits between both a pistol round and an intermediate rifle round. So what's the, uh, the old 46 all about? Well, let's dig into it. Now the 4.6 joins the Banshee line of CMMG's firearms and is a very short, sweet, and light AR-15 pistol. The gun has an 8-inch barrel, a 40-round proprietary magazine, the CMMG rip brace, ambidextrous safety, a Magpul pistol grip, and a patent-pending micro gas block. This is not a radial delayed gun, but uses a direct impingement gas system, much like a standard AR-15. Like every other CMMG firearm I've ever handled, this is a very well put together gun. Now they include a lot of extras in this particular model, including the Cerakote finish, the larger charging handle, and the CMMG SV brake. And as you, as you would imagine, this is a very lightweight and compact package, weighing less than six pounds. Makes it a perfect little uh, handy home defense gun and close quarters battle weapon. AR-15s come in every caliber under the sun. You can get a 22, a nine millimeter, a 5.56, heck a 410. So why exactly does 4.6 by 30 millimeters stand out and why would you want it over a traditional pistol caliber or an intermediate rifle round? Well, since it sits between those two, it does have some big advantages. Over a normal pistol caliber, this thing offers a lot more range. It's a flat shooting cartridge out to 100 yards and at 150 yards is a little bit drop, but it still hits pretty hard. The Spitzer type bullet allows it to tumble. So if it goes through drywall, it's instead of just sailing through and hurting someone else, it's more likely to tumble, lose energy and redirect. That tumbling effect also does a really good job when it hits a soft target, like, you know, a home invader, and does quite a bit of damage, well beyond what you think the little 18 caliber projectile is capable of. Now, does it outperform a 5.56? No. No, it, it simply can't. The 5.56 will fly further, hit harder, and do so probably a good bit cheaper. But the main benefit of using a 4.6 by 30 millimeter round is being able to use a platform this small. A 5.56 out of an 8 inch barrel works, it's still plenty deadly. However, you're getting a ton of concussion, you're getting a ton of noise, and a ton of muzzle flash, and it's simply not very comfortable. This is a very low recoiling, very comfortable, very easy to control package that's perfect for home defense. It's especially perfect if you find a 5.56 caliber too big and too cumbersome. There's a lot of shooters out there of all different sizes and all different skill levels, and something like this might be easier to handle than something like a 16 inch AR-15 carbine. So that's why I think the 4.6 by 30 millimeter is a good round. Plus it's just a lot of fun, I'm not gonna lie. I also like the fact that I can get an AR in any caliber I want. CMMG seems pretty dedicated to bringing every oddball caliber into the market into the AR platform, and I really appreciate that. Especially since HK won't give us an MP7. So how does our little uh, 4.6 millimeter friend handle at the range? Well, pretty freaking sweetly. It is superbly easier to control. It's, it's almost like shooting a rimfire, to be honest with you. Maybe, it's not quite a 22, maybe a 22 Magnum levels of recoil and muzzle rise, so, you know, barely anything. Plus the fact this thing wears a brake, it makes it super easy to control. This 40 round mag is basically like an angry hive of wasps once you start pulling the trigger, because you can dispense lead very fast and very accurately from this platform. The little red dot I have on top here barely moves between shots, and that makes it super easy to get those fast follow-up shots on target. Now, when you go back to say 100 yards, you're, normal, you're normally holding over you know, 10 to 12 inches with a nine millimeter. With this, I'm not really holding over at all. I put this on a 10 inch gong at 100 yards and I'm gonna hit that 10 inch gong. If I put it on an eight inch gong, I'm gonna hit it. If I put it on a six inch gong, I, I probably can't see it because my vision's not great. But if I could see it, I could hit it. Now when we get to 150 yards, we're gonna have a little bit of ballistic drop, but still not on the level of a nine millimeter. We're talking maybe six to eight inches. That's plenty easy to hold over and compensate for. Honestly, I would feel pretty comfortable taking coyotes at 100 yards with this thing. To get the most out of this, I think you need some magnification, be it a magnifier, or a prism side, or a one to four. That way you can really stretch its legs and see what you're hitting at those longer ranges and make use of this 4.6 by 30 millimeter cartridge. Now, because it's so lightweight, again, it's 5.6 pounds, and it's so short, I can easily handle it with a single arm, which might be very, very valuable in a self-defense scenario. And when I say handle it, I don't mean just hold it up. I mean, I can shoot it and shoot it accurately with a single arm while maintaining complete control of the weapon. So I have to go through a door, retrieve a child or anything like that. I feel completely comfortable firing this weapon with a single hand, even at 25 to 30 yards. So let's talk about this magazine for a moment because I think it's a really, really good idea from CMMG. It's a proprietary magazine. And it does look to be a little bit large for 
the 4.6 round. You know, if you look at the MP7, the magazine fits in the pistol grip. That's not happening here. No, that's because this is actually molded to be the same size as an AR-15 magazine. And the reason being is that you can use a standard multi-cal lower with a CMMG 4.6 upper receiver and bolt grip. This allows you to use your own lower. So if you have like a, uh, let's say a SBR, or maybe you just have a lower you really, really love with a PDW type stock or brace or ambidextrous controls all over the place, whatever the reason is, you can use it with just throwing a 4.6 upper on. Now, the other benefit to using a uh, AR-15 size magazine is that all my standard AR-15 mag pouches work with this. So there's no reason to buy, you know, new mag pouches that might not be made. So tossing these in the mag pouches I already have is, you know, pretty nice. Speaking of, the magazines will hold 40 rounds of 4.6 and they cost about 40 bucks a piece. They come in, you know, the 40 rounder for free states and the 10 rounders for places where freedom may apply differently. Overall, CMMG put together a very nice little AR-15 pistol. Now we call these, you know, personal defense weapons because they're caliber and because they're original NATO intention. But in reality, I think home defense weapon or HDW fits it a little bit better. The weapon's very light, very controllable, offers better ballistics than a pistol caliber, but isn't so cumbersome, heavy, loud, or concussive as a short-barreled rifle. Now, obviously, there is a downside, and that main downside is gonna be your ammo. Now, the 4.6 by 30 goes for about 80 cents a piece, which does make it a little bit cheaper than 5.7 by 28, but not much. Now, at 80 cents a piece, that, that's not factoring in any economy of scale. Again, this is still a very new weapon, and it's the first weapon in the civilian market to chamber the round. So if it becomes popular and we see more weapons, we're likely to see that ammo price plummet. You know, 5.7 got popular and the ammo price went down, but it's still around 87 to 90 cents per round. So there's no reason the 4.6 can't be cheaper, especially since it doesn't require the same lacquer the 5.7 by 28 millimeter round requires. Now hopefully this is just one of many that we'll begin seeing and I'm hoping the 4.6 becomes a bit more popular because it's always good to have, you know, choices. America is all about making choices. So what choice would you make? Now, does this tickle your fancy? Do you like the idea of a 4.6 AR or are you just completely unimpressed? I want to know, so let us know below. And thank you for watching.